so friends in last lecture you have started learning some test for the convergence of the series and in last lecture we have seen comparison test for convergence and in comparison test we have seen two test one is direct comparison test and other is limit comparison test okay now today we will see the elements <coughs> ratio test for the series of non negative terms okay so the statement for this test is the series x of non negative series x of non negative terms okay let the series x be of non negative terms and limit n tends to infinity of the ratio x n plus 1 upon x n is equal to say l ok where l is the finite real number we are given a series x n of non negative terms and x n is the n term of series x n plus 1 is the n plus 1 term of the series we have taken the limit of this ratio ok and this ratio is equal to l now if this L is less than 1, then series XL is conversion. Okay. If L is greater than 1, this limit of the ratio is here. If L is less than 1, series is conversion. If L is greater than 1, implies series xn is divergent okay and if l is equal to 1 the test cannot give us conclusion about the convergence of the series so for l is equal to 1 test fails okay the test using this test if limit of ratio is equal to 1 we cannot conclude about the whether the series is convergent or not. This is the DLMR's recent test for the convergence of the series. Okay. Now we will see example based on this DLMR's ratio test. Okay. So consider the series XN whose n term. Okay. So slightly I will write like the series say. The series is given one plus. 2 upon okay 2 factorial sorry we can write here 3 is here 3 upon 2 factorial plus 5 upon 3 factorial plus 7 upon 4 factorial up to so on so we have to check the convergence of this series okay our first criteria is to find the n term of the series because to apply this test we must have know the n term of the series and they have given series in this form they don't directly give the n term but by observation we have to find the n term of the series now look at the series 1 upon 1 factorial 3 5 7 2 factorial 3 factorial 4 factorial so here odd numbers 3 5 7 and here just as factors of natural numbers okay so we can easily write the n terms so n term will be say 1 3 5 n 7 up to so on so when n is equal to here it is 3 for n is equal to 3 it is 5 for n is equal to 4 term here it is 7 so we must we by observation we can write in numerator there is the value twice n minus 1 see for n is equal to 1 2 into 1 minus 1, so 1 
for n is equal to 2 into 2 4 minus 1 to 3 for n is equal to 3 so twice into 3 so 6 minus 1 5 okay so in the end there is a twice and minus 1 at the end term upon oh, what one vector to vector to vector to so on so just n factor this is the n term of the series to apply this Dialogue says to test you must have to find n plus 1 term of the series but as we know n term it is very really easy to find the n plus 1 term of the series but from this implies the n plus 1 term will be just replace n by n plus 1 so here it was twice n minus 1 so replace n by n plus 1 so twice n plus 1 minus 1 so 2 into n twice n 2 into 1 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 1 so twice n plus 1 so in the matter there will be twice n plus 1 how it come by putting each of n by putting n plus 1 instead of n near replace n by also n plus 1 so here it will be n plus 1 factorial so this is the n plus 1 term so okay. now we have to take the limit of the ratio so limit n tends to infinity of this ratio where xn plus 1 upon xn xn plus 1 is twice n plus 1 upon n plus 1 factorial upon xn xn is twice n minus 1 upon n factorial so instead of writing again upon we will just replace the limit and denominator so it, get, so it comes in multiplication so upon xn will becomes n factorial upon twice n minus 1 okay we know the rule that a by d upon c by d is equal to a into d upon d into c okay so then d comes into the numerator and this, this b comes into the numerator just we have used this now it is n plus 1 factorial so we know n plus 1 factorial is equal to n plus 1 into n factorial okay so put the value n plus 1 factorial is equal to n plus 1 into n factorial okay so n factorial and n factorial will get cancelled this is equal to limit n tends to infinity the twice n plus 1 as it is here n plus 1 factorial is equal to n plus 1 into n plus 1 into n factorial but again n battery is a numerator, n battery is a denominator, so it get cancelled. So we don't have to write this, it just get cancelled. So here only 1 upon twice n minus 1. Okay. Now, if it is in twice n plus 1 into 1 is equal to twice n plus 1. So we can write this as this is equal to limit n tends to infinity. We will write this 1 upon n plus 1 as it is, and here twice n plus 1 into 1 is twice n plus 1 upon twice n minus 1 now this is equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 upon n plus 1 as it is we will divide numerator and numerator by 1 this becomes divide this numerator by n so 2n upon n is equal to 2 1 by n is here 1 by n upon divide divide also by n so twice n upon n so this is only 2 okay minus divided is 1 by n so minus 1 by n now as n tends to infinity 1 by n tends to 0 this 1 by n tends to 0 so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity okay 1 upon n plus 1 as it is as n tends to infinity 1 upon n plus 1 tends to infinity 1 up n plus 1 tends to n plus 1 tends to also infinity Okay, so we write one, one more step. Okay, 1 upon n plus 1. This as n tends to infinity, 1 by n tends to 0, this also tends to 0. So 2 by 2, by 2 is 1. So only 1. But as n tends to infinity, one, this n plus 1 also tends to infinity. So 1 upon infinity tends to 0. This one. As n tends to infinity, this n plus 1 also tends to infinity. But 1 by infinity tends to 0, this is equal to 0. So the limit of the ratio xn plus 1 upon xn. Okay. Actually, we don't have uh, 
right? This one extra step. From here also, right? You write as the tension twenty. This is plus one also tends to infinity. So one point twenty tends to zero, and this tends to one. So zero to one, zero. So limit of the ratio x n plus one over x n is equal to l, and here l is equal to zero, and zero is less than or zero. If our value of l is here zero, it is less than one. So ratio of limit of x n plus one over x n is equal to zero. It is less than one. So by T L N plus ratio test, the series x n, the given series problem, we just apply the given series B one. Series is conversion by the Alamberts ratio. Okay. Well, by what we have done, we have taken the limit of the ratio x n plus one over x n. It is equal to L. Near ratio comes L is equal to zero, and zero is less than one. So by this test. Series X X N is double. So this given series is double. So this is the application of D R numbers ratio test. Okay. What this test says? Take the ratio of n plus one term to the n term. Take the limit. If limit is less than one, the series is conversion. If limit is greater than one, series is diversion. But for n is equal to one, this series cannot give a proper conversion. Okay. The next test for the Conversion of the series is the Cauchy's root test for the series of non-negative terms. Okay, why there is the name root? You will see after the statement of the test. Okay, so the statement is the series let A M be the series of non negative terms okay non negative terms now in the ratio test we have taken the limit of ratio in the root test we will take limit of some roots of some elements okay now again limit n tend to infinity The limit n to infinity of the nth root of n element. A n is the n element of the series A n. Like x n is the n element of n term of the series. Here the series is ordered by A n. So A n is the n term of the series. So limit of A n raised to power one by n. Here n root of A n equal to say n. Okay, so finite. Real number. Now, if again n less than one, then series A n is conversion. Okay. Second, if n greater than one, then again then series A n is diversion. And For n is equal to one, the test cannot conclude about the convergence or divergence of the series. Okay, so again, for n is equal to one, the test is a this test also fails. This is the statement of the Cauchy's root test. Okay, so we have given the series. Say a n or x n. Take the n root of n n term of the series. Take limit as n tend to infinity. If that limit is less than one, then series a n is conversion. If limit is greater than one, series is diverging. And if limit is equal to one, this series is not appropriate to change the convergence or divergence of the series. So we will see now. We will see examples based on. This Cauchy's root test. Okay. So first example is to check the convergence of this series. Okay. Now here a n is given. So here a n is equal to n upon n plus one raised to the power n square. Okay. 
So, An raised to the power 1 by n will be equal to, this is the n term. So, you have to take the n to the n term. So, n to will be equal to the n of 1, n plus 1 raised to the power n square, which is the n, n term and raised to the power 1 by n. So, n, n square is 1 by n. So, 1 n didn't cancel, 1 n get cancelled. So, a n raised to the power 1 by n will be equal to n upon n plus 1 raised to the power n. Because here is n square, but raised to the power 1 by n. So, 1 n get cancelled. Okay. So, this is our a n raised to the power 1 by n. So, now limit n times to infinity a n raised to the power 1 by n will be equal to limit n tends to infinity ok this is the a n raised to power 1 by n so n upon n plus 1 raised to power n a n raised to power 1 by n we have calculated this value a n raised to power 1 by n this value is this so limit n tends to infinity of a n raised to power 1 by n is equal to limit n tends to infinity a n is 1 by n is equal to n upon n plus 1 is to power n. This is equal to limit n times to infinity. Now divide numerator and numerator by 1. So in numerator n by n is equal to 1. So in numerator n by n is 1 plus 1 by n. Okay. And raised to power n. But 1 raised to power n is 1. So there is no meaning in the writing. 1 raised to power n. So we can write instead of just writing 1, instead of writing just 1 upon 1 raised to power n, we just write 1 upon 1, rest, 1 plus 1 raised to power n. Yeah. So limit n is 10 to infinity. So 1 is constant. So limit of 1 is 1. And we know one formula. Limit n tends to infinity. 1 plus 1 by n raised to power n is equal to e here. Yeah. Limit n tends to infinity of 1 plus 1 by n to power n. This limit is e. This limit is 1. This limit is equal to 1 by e. And e is the number which is greater than 2. So it is greater than 1. So 1 by e is the number greater than 1. Because e is 2.3 some, something. So 1 upon the number greater than 1 must be less than 1. So we have taken the limit. So here limit n 10 to infinity a n raised to power 1 by n is equal to l. And l is equal to 1 by e which is less than 1. So by Cauchy's root test, this series is convergent because the limit of a n raised to power 1 by n is less than 1. So this implies given series, given series is convergent by Cauchy's root test. This is the application of question. Next example, the series 1 upon log n raised to power n. So here, n is 1 upon log of n raised to power n. So, a n raised to power 1 by n is equal to take raised to power 1 by n. So, here n is this n and again raised to power 1 by n get cancelled. So, remains only 1 upon log of n. So, limit n tends to infinity of a n raised to power 1 by n is equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 upon log n because a n raised to power 1 by n is equal to 1 upon log n. As n tends to infinity, log n also tends to infinity, so 1 upon infinity tends to 0. So, this limit is equal to 0 and it is less than 1. So, again, this is also convergent. This implies the series 1 upon log n raised to power n is also convergent by the Cauchy's root test. Okay. So today we have seen two tests. One is Cauchy's root test and other is Dayal-Lambert's ratio test. Okay. Thank you.